This is in sequential mode. And I, I think that might be what it's called. I don't really know. But I like to do it in manual mode if I'm gonna manual shift it. So I just push this and it goes to manual. And then you can change it, the gears with the pedals or with the stick. Here's with the pedal shifts. But it's pretty, it's pretty quick response in the manual mode. Way better than what I've seen in some of the, uh, some of the Corvettes that are automatics and you shift them, you can shift them to the manual too. feel if you're going to have a car why she got her ass in this curb hanging out man people just do dumb shit don't they but if you're going to do manual mode you're going to drive a car that's manual i think the car needs to have clutch and a gear shift that way you know i mean this is cool don't get me wrong now If you don't shift it down, it'll do it itself. Down shift the wheels, up shift it will not. But if you're gonna shift, if you don't feel like shifting it down, or you don't know the RPM or the speed you should be doing is down shift, just let it do it itself. thing about the manual though is when you turn it that first gear is so short that unless you use this you gonna kind of over rev I mean you're not gonna over rev but it's gonna be revved up pretty high before you shift because when you turn in these the pedal shifts are not on the column but they're on the wheel so you know the up shift is way over here I guess you're supposed to have two hands on the wheel not not trying to record a damn YouTube video. But the, the only thing so far I don't like about this car is that it's so freaking quiet. It's really, really quiet. And if you're trying to shift on gear sound or engines, engine rails, you can't have the radio on or nothing. You gotta just be listening. not a problem it's just that if you're gonna try to you know manual shift the damn car I kind of want to feel that you want to feel that ooh, ooh. this car is just so quiet it's ridiculous I mean there's no seat of the pants driver you got to be actually looking at the gauges because you can't hear and you're not gonna feel the engine except it's just that refined it's just that that elegant they got this shit so it's so tight, man, and so muffled that you, you're you not gonna be able to just drive it by sound. You know? And that's not a problem, but you gotta know that if you got a Beamer. And you're trying to drive it manually. So watch, this shift's pretty good. It's like a, it shifts like a motorcycle. If you ever rode a motorcycle, 
especially these uh, motorcycles now with the quick shifters. That's how it shifts. And this shit move out. So yeah, I would say that I'm very happy with the BMW. Even though I just spent 740 some dollars for a service. That's kind of what you get with. That's cool. That's the one thing you're gonna get with these motherfuckers is when they have to go in the shop, just take a thousand dollars with you. It's rare that I've ever had a Beamer go in the shop and I didn't come out paying a thousand dollars. And I've had a three series, uh, a five series, and what else? And now this one, a six series. And every last one on the maintenance with the thing. So you can't bitch about that. You just gotta realize that if you get a Beamer, you need to have a BMW repair fund and an extended warranty. And uh, that's a nice, uh, a nice Porsche. I wouldn't buy one of those. But you need to have an uh, extended warranty. The extended warranty, I got a video coming on that. It didn't really pay much. But I guess something is better than nothing. So. Got a shift, man. Damn. That's another reason I love driving manual because that first gear is so tight. They look cars all cleaned up today. First time we uh we don't have any damn rain. Like a downship bicep, I'm not touching it. That's the end of this vlog.